All right, hello guys, and welcome to Sunflowers and DIYing, and I am Sarah. So this is one of our Aiden boards. It is um, washable. As you see, I am taking another transfer off that I used before, and it is magnetic. You will also see that here soon. So here, this is just a little scraper that I had on hand. Um, we do carry those in our shop, um, squeegees, um, like they're scrapers for things like this. I just have not gotten one yet. I plan on to, but just have not yet. Um, and all that is is just still distilled water, but you can use regular water. Reason why I'm just using distilled water is because that's what I keep in my craft room so that when I need to wet my paste to get it creamy again like it's supposed to and not dry, um, I just use that water. So it's just easier since I already had it on hand. And this is just a wipe. I'm just wiping it all the excess off. And then what I'll do next is um, after I wipe it off all the way, then I take my um, board eraser, which that is... Um, it's like a um, magic eraser almost, but it just it's a little different. The quality is, is totally different. I don't know. There's just something different about it. Um, and I'm sure a magic eraser would do just fine too, but this is what we have and this is what I like to use. It works amazing. So what this board eraser does, it is going to help take off the, um, I guess, the extra layer that's underneath, that, that shadow part that it leaves behind, and any extra excess of that stuff. And these are also amazing for transfers. Um, if you get transfers, I highly recommend getting these board erasers. They are wonderful. So this is the transfer I chose for this collaboration. And um, I love it. Um, I actually chose another one, but it was out of stock. So I wanted to redo this last minute. So I went ahead and redid it on Sunday night. And, um, yeah, so I've had a lot of issues with this video and I'm just going to say it front. I am so sorry that you will not be able to see, um, most of the footage. I have no idea where it went. I have looked, I have looked in the trash. Uh, if I could go to cyber and look, I would, or wherever these things go, but I have no idea where it went. And I am sincerely sorry. Um, but here I just was fuzzing it with our fuzzing cloth, which I recommend those. They are very, very nice to have. They help with the fuzzing. They help with even cleaning your transfer, like drying and everything when you need to use it over and over. Like me, I had to use it like four or five times and it really helped with drying. So you saw me take my hand, just scraping it over, rubbing it gently over my transfer. That is to make sure that there's no air bubbles and no extra fuzz clumped up. So I use pe pesto and candy apple and then shimmer gold and this is how i made this transfer and then i just made that bow from what i had so this is a palette sign that it was given to me and i just took my storm and i just watered it down and just dry brushed it on top of that and then i just used the bottom part of the transfer that i had picked and i just put a picture of my children on there and this is how this one turned out I do hope that you guys get inspired even though you don't see the full complete footage that it still inspires you to make beautiful decor pieces for your home. So then this one's really neat. This one's very versatile. You can use this just about anywhere. So all this is is a glass, a piece of glass from a picture frame. So I've already used this once. I cleaned it off and that's the beauty about chalk paints chalk paste. You can wash it off and reuse it, especially on items like this, like glass and our chalkboard surfaces or Dollar Tree um, chalkboard surfaces if it has that that chalkboard um, to it. So anyway, again, I'm just fuzzing it. And then you do need to fuzz it a little extra to make sure that there's not so much sticky because it's going on glass. And it just tends to stick to it a lot more and will stretch your transfer. And you do not want that to happen because then it will cause air, you know, bleeding and all that extra. So what I just went ahead and chose shimmer gold, but you could choose whatever color you want. I just wanted to show you a general idea of what I was going for, that this is very versatile, that you can choose one color and just put multiple backgrounds behind it. Or you can do like I did in the first DIY, um, change it up just by the season, uh, change it just for an everyday decor piece that, you know, that you want to just keep out all the time, or you can just change it up to keep it for the seasons. 
So here I'm just using, like I said, the shimmer gold, and I'm using our small squeegee. We have two different size squeegees. Well, we have more, but we the ones I'm using. I have this small squeegee here, and then you'll see that little tiny one over there to the right um, is a mini squeegee, and I use those a lot. We do have bigger ones, and they are nicer for bigger projects, but I just, I usually do smaller projects. Anyway, so um, I'm going to scrape off the rest of the excess, so I use my slanted squeegee part of it to squeegee it on, and then I'm, um, I usually flip it over, and I scrape off the excess on the flatter edge part just to get the extra off to save as much as I can. And then I just peel it off and reveal the beautiful piece that was transferred on. That beautiful design that transferred to my surface, which is the glass. And here it is. So now, like I said, this is just an old picture frame that I had and um, actually got at a thrift store. And I just upcycled it. I used scrapbooking paper that I had on hand from Hobby Lobby last year. And then some other scrapbooking paper that was given to me. You can use whatever you'd like. If you had wrapping paper or if you have um, anything, uh, scrapbooking paper, wrapping paper, all those fun stuff, you could use it. Um, that was hearts on that one. And then I changed it out and I put a couple other ones in there just to show you the versatileness of it. The Just how... How you can just reuse it. Um, you can even change out the font. Oh, this I realized that my hearts were upside down, so I fixed it. But how you can just um, change the just the colors behind it. And see, I know you can't see it as good, so white probably would have been better. But still, you get the idea of what I'm trying to go for. And then here I just use some buffalo check because I love buffalo check, red or black, white, all those. And then this one is snowman on it. Yes, it is sideways. I could have fixed it, but I'd already had it on. This is shiplap and um, paper, and I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. So this is a Chalk With Me collab, and we are all Chalk to Couture designers, and we came together to show you how many different ways you can use a transfer. This is a Dollar Tree canvas with Dollar Tree um, tissue paper, Maj Paj Don. This is also one of our boards. Uh, palette boards and I just did this my husband added the handles on for me and bam you have a beautiful tray and there's that one again it showed you so I just went ahead and showed you these pictures again so you could be reminded the versatileness of all of this that this one transfer gave you so many different ideas and again I want to say that I'm so sorry that I lost it but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a great day